And then niggas be hanging right? around these niggas just for the money or some Mike Rubin shit. I slap the shit out of Mike Rubin. Yeah. I see that nigga. Let me uh Slap the shit out of my group. I see that nigga. For the past several years, the general public has been asking the same question. Who in the world is Michael Rubin and why do rappers continuously show up to his parties every year even though they always end up getting embarrassed? Now, Michael Rubin, he's like the former owner of the Philadelphia 76ers and the New Jersey Devils and he's a the co-founder of Fanatics. But he's really not known for that low key. He's more so known for making Meek Mill bunny hop and being a part of the happiest moment of little baby's life where he smothered and caressed him in a drunken hug. And again, if you don't believe me, I challenge you to find a picture of or video of little baby looking happier than he did in that moment. You know, despite these like humiliating situations, people keep coming back to his parties and they keep hanging out with him for some reason. You know, you look at the, the star studded guest list of people who are showing up to these all white parties that happen every 4th of July. You looking at it people like Lil Wayne, Drake, Meek Mill, Little Baby, uh, who else? Kyle Kuzma, Devin Booker, CJ Stroud, Mary J. Blige, Megan Thee Stallion, Coco Jones, the list goes on and on. These, you know, like these, all these celebrities showing up to this one place, it's making it feel like a much bigger deal, obviously, because it's making it seem like there's some big event going on of like the who's who. And anytime something like that pops up, the general public is always going to eat it up because it's on one hand, it's fascinating. But on the other hand, a lot of people low key wish they were the who's who. So they kind of live vicariously through them. But not all celebrities seem interested and wanted to participate in this party. Kanye West notably went on a rant a few months ago going off on people like Mike Rubin and people that hang out with him. And then niggas be right? hanging around these niggas just for the money or some Mike Rubin shit. Slap the shit out of Mike Rubin. Yeah. I see that nigga. Uh also, even Kai Sinat didn't seem interested and wanted to go. There was a clip from a stream with him and Aiden Ross where Aiden invited him to come as his plus one. And not only did Kai deny going, like he, he said he already got invited and turned it down. But even when you look at the video, something about it, like it seemed like Kai was holding something back. Like something about his his body language seemed a bit off when it got to that conversation. But yo, check this out. Look. This is Michael Rubin's all white party for July 4th. Would you like to go with me? No. <laughs> wait, wait, no? Yeah, I, I got invited to the other one. That's enough. Oh, you're going to another July 4th party? No, I got invited to the last Michael Rubin. Why didn't you go? Because, I don't know. I didn't want to go. Okay, well, um, if you're not doing anything July 4th, wait. would you want to go to the all white, wait, you, all white party? Wait you, got, wait, you got invited to the all white? Yeah. Uh, GG's in the chat. Hey, just keep tag. Make sure you got. <laughs> Do you want to go with me? No. Come on. Bro, no. July 4th is, um. July 4th is when we do fireworks and shit, bro. It's war time. Oh, that is true. That is true. Okay, makes sense. All right, bro. Thank you. Yo, be careful out there. You are safety. No, I'm good, man. Don't worry about me. I'm going to have the time of my life. Let me know how it goes for real. I will. Oh, be careful out there, you are. Safety. Who knows, right? Either way, he didn't seem interested in going. And he didn't, regardless of what networking opportunities might be there. But then you got to wonder, what do these artists stand to gain by showing up to these events and playing along with whatever, whatever weird, you know, games this billionaire wants to play? Like one possibility could be millions or maybe who knows billions of dollars behind the scenes could be moving around. Like when a lot of money's on the line, a lot of people will look past their differences and coexist in the same environment just for the sake of trying to network with other people. For example, Megan Thee Stallion and Drake were both there, even though Drake noticed like everybody knows he dissed Megan Thee Stallion and she she's clearly seemed willing to show up and not make a big deal out of the situation now my theory could be that it could be something to the effect of maybe contractors are there that are letting people know like tipping people off about 
the new hot spots to move to in different parts of the country and buy real estate or maybe even like the Silicon Valley types that are there that people may want to connect with so they could get on the ground floor of investing in the next big app. But nobody's ever confirmed if that's the case. So again, it's, it's hard to really know. But there's just something strange about the dynamics that play out at these at these parties. Like whenever you see footage from these parties, these celebrities are always in these like awkward situations that are really just humiliating. But you never see Michael Rubin himself get caught up in a a, a position that's just as awkward and embarrassing as the celebrities it always seems like somehow he he's on the winning end of this and he could just sort of sit back and just really just watch and enjoy this play out for his amusement and these awkward and embarrassing situations these are these are not just minor hiccups these are these are situations that seriously harm the reputation of these artists like i said earlier you know those vi those viral pictures of little baby getting into the, you know ha being sandwiched by those two guys and getting what michael rubin called the drunken hug it made little baby look crazy meek mill bunny hopping makes him look crazy michael rubin claims that he's throwing this event as a way to make these celebrities feel like normal people and make them feel like they have the day off and they could just sort of let loose or whatever but when you watch these events ironically enough a lot of these artists they're there they show up there to perform so again performing is a part of their everyday life it's literally a part of their job so i don't understand how that would make somebody feel like they have the day off or they're normal but again something odd could be going on we don't know but it just feels like that that's why it makes it so easy to believe all these conspiracy theories that we've seen throw out there that we've seen thrown out there it, like it's, it almost gives you the vibe of like something that would be written by jordan peele like it, it almost gives you that sort of get out vibe where you don't know for sure what's wrong here but it's like you, you look into their eyes and something seems off here like look at any of the pictures of the celebrities at these parties very rarely do you see any of these celebrities in those pictures looking happy but on the flip side michael rubin looks extremely happy at all times in all those pictures he's having the time of his life but these artists that he's claiming he's trying to help give the day off to and let them have fun or whatever they're seeming as if this is almost miserable to them for them to even be there could it be that they're there just to have fun and have the day off and feel normal or whatever or you know could it be some sort of pressure or some sort of person pressuring them to show up to these parties like some sort of coercion going on or something like who knows but ultimately we're never really gonna know at least not right now it's, if something is going on we're probably not even gonna find out until maybe years later because that's usually how these things play out where it's not until like a big arrest happens where you know a bunch a bunch of police agencies get involved that'll usually be the time where we find out but until then it's just gonna be a, a just a, a weird phenomenon that happens every year now it might just be as simple as celebrities have the fear of missing out and they don't want to miss out on a who's who event and they just show up just to so they could be seen because a lot of these people do love attention or it could be something a little more nefarious than that but we still don't know for sure let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below make sure you guys like and subscribe my name is emphasis and i will talk to y'all later oh yeah also the all white party oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. all white party that was my Legend. first time doing that too that <laughs> okay. was fucking electric man wow that was that was unforgettable Crazy. unforgettable unforgettable you know, i got a bad memory <laughs> yeah, that, right, that was unforgettable, man. Yeah, I, I saw some. I was like, damn, that's where y'all be at. Like, this is where I, mm. like the, 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 the who's who. That's where they was at. And they was just, just comfortable, just chilling and just falling. Chilling. And I was like, this is dope. 
it's dope. I love to get to that point where, you know, I'm throwing a party at the crib, man. Everybody, was like, <laughs> I'm talking about like Jesus. Everybody, Jesus, it was like Jesus was in there with party and talking to him and Lucifer was kicking it. It was wild up in there. It was wild up in there, but awesome time.